Facebook, Google, Twitter, and Microsoft have all agreed to abide by a new code of conduct. Ongoing geopolitical tensions have led the new European Union regulations regarding hateful content online. So, joining us now to break it all down is Ben Fox Rubin. He's a reporter over at CNET. So, Ben, this new arrangement, the new rules, are meant to cut down on the, the, the inciting of violence, the spread of terrorist propaganda and whatnot in Europe. First of all, if any of these companies spot hateful content, what do they actually do to, to, to begin with? Well, they're supposed to get rid of it. What this code of conduct mentions is, is that uh, if something is validly flagged by, I'm, I'm assuming, a user or an advocate that says this is hateful, this is illegal hateful content, then within 24 hours, under this new code of conduct, they're supposed to review it and then get rid of it. So that's what's new. So, so, so this is, first of all, on the European Union side of things. Now, what are your thoughts about this? Are you, are you optimistic? Could this be successful? Because there are such tech behemoths, the, the, these kind of centers, these hubs of Internet content. Are they all joining together on this new code of conduct? I think we all know that uh, dealing with this type of thing on social media is kind of like whack-a-mole. So, no, I'm not terribly optimistic that this is really going to make much of a difference. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, these companies have all already had different protocols and tools in place to monitor hate speech, different things like that. And we, we've seen where it's gotten us so far. I mean, people get bullied, trolled online all the time. On top of that, there's a lot of um, uh, promoting terrorism different things like that. So there's I mean, a long it's way to go. It's interesting that you mentioned this because th there's an anonymous or anonymity aspect that makes these things perhaps a little bit easier for people to put online and then they just get taken down but so they come back again. Some social media sites, including Twitter, have already put protocols in place to counter hate talk or the inciting of violence. Are, are the new rules any different than what's already in place at some of these companies already? It's hard to say. So the 24-hour rule, I'm not really sure exactly what Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube had been doing beforehand. Maybe they're actually going to be a little bit faster in response. I know Germany also uh, got several social media companies to do this last year. So I think the major intention here is to at least get them to respond a little bit quicker, maybe beforehand. Uh, it just was a little bit more ad hoc as far as how quickly they would respond when somebody actually flagged something as hate speech. All right, so this is, again, happening in Europe. Let's talk about our own shores here in the United States. How does yep. this new code of conduct impact users in the U.S., and how can the First Amendment impact protocols here? It's a big deal on the constitutional level. Right. Things are very different here in the U.S. I mean, since World War II, uh, Europeans have been much more careful and much uh, stricter when it comes to free speech. In the U.S., uh, even, I, I mean, the big, the big thing that people usually say is, even if I don't agree with what you're saying, I'll defend your right to say it, even if it's racist or hateful or what have you. Uh, it, there are uh, different things in the U.S. that you can't say, like saying fire in a movie theater or uh, inciting violence, different things like that. However, this code of conduct really shouldn't uh, have a direct impact in the U.S., I would assume. All right, so it sounds like there are a lot of new areas and new ground to break here in all of this. Of course, jurisdictions are going to have to play a huge role in this as well. Ben Fox Rubin, thank you so much for joining us and breaking down this entire EU code of conduct policy. And thanks for watching. I'm Dominic Chu. Have a great day. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.